Hi, my friends. Hi, my friends. Hi, my friends. This is Rose, Coach Rose AJ, coming to holla at my ladies 50 plus. Ladies 50 plus, I want to let y'all know we got it going on and on and on. But first, I want to tell you a really quick and simple short story. Ladies, back in um, 2018, June of 2018, I hit my rock bottom, you guys. I hit my ultimate rock bottom. I did not know if I was going to be able to bounce back and get back up like I had in previous years. And during this time, I was going through perimenopause and menopause. And y'all, as a result of that, I thought I was just losing my natural mind. I had no cards left in the um, card deck. I was out of energy. When I say I was out of energy, I literally didn't know what to do. I was at my wits end. And as a result of this, I decided to leave my 23-year career in corrections. I decided just to leave it all, just leave it all behind and take a few years off so that I could take care of my mental health because my mental health was literally in the gutter. So I could take care of my mental health, my emotional health, my physical health, and just my overall health, you guys. Back then, I was considerably overweight. I was always hungry. I was on the blood sugar roller coaster. My mood swings were just out of this world. And you guys, what I ended up doing was going down a rabbit hole, a learning rabbit hole. So I've always loved to read. I've always loved to learn. So I thought that the best way for me to figure my way out of this was to get myself educated. Educated meaning um, to learn about what was going to work for me and what wasn't. And what I did was is I got off the blood sugar roller coaster. I learned about how I could fuel myself, fuel my mental health, continue to exercise, but not just survive, but I learned how to thrive. My depression lifted. I became more outgoing. I'm, I've always been outgoing. Let's get that correct. I've always been outgoing, but my depression lifted. Um, my self esteem, my self esteem increased. I lost weight. Right, I did all these things, and I loved exercising again. My joints didn't hurt. My body was no longer inflamed. My brain fog lifted. It just completely left. I started remembering things that I had forgotten. Right. So as a result of all this and continuing education. I started coaching, right? I started coaching others. And what I've really, really learned that I love to do is to be among women that are trying to better themselves, to be in conversation, to be locking arms with women that are moving forward, that are just moving forward. It doesn't matter what dietary protocol you choose. It doesn't matter what religious background you come from, but we all have some of the same things that we get boggled down in life with. But if, So what I've come up with is a 21-day health, life, and fitness glow-up challenge, a 21-day challenge. I don't want people to think that because it's the end of the year or it's the first of the year or the middle of the year that they have to wait until the beginning of the next month or, you know, six months from now or their next birthday or their next vacation before they begin working on their health and wellness. So what I've created is, is the glow up challenge. And essentially what it's going to be is, is that we're going to be focusing on five areas for 21 days and you're going to give it your all. Your all is going to look different from day to day, month to month, week to week. And essentially what it is, is you're going to choose a nutrition plan, my sister, any nutrition plan. It can be keto. It can be, um, vegetarian. It can be carnivore. It can be, um, Mediterranean any dietary protocol that you choose. It could even be you choosing to remove sugar, 
sugar from your um, diet or just choosing not to eat fast food, whatever your commitment is to yourself for your dietary or nutritional protocol, you choose it and you stick with it for 21 days. And you also want to hydrate your body according to your needs. So the hydration for everyone is totally different. So you'll know what your right level of fluid intake is, right? And then the second component is I want you to move your body for 30 minutes a day. You might want to do 30 minutes at one shot with a 30 minute walk. Or you may be someone who needs to break it up into five or six increments of five minutes, six minute workouts, micro workouts per day. So long as you're marching in place, you're walking on a treadmill or you're outside, you're doing jumping jacks, whatever you constitute as movement, count it for 30 minutes a day, my friend, right? And then um, you can dance in your kitchen, dance with your kids. Lift some weights. It doesn't matter what you choose to do so long as you're moving your body for 30 minutes a day. And then what I also want you to do, part three, would be connect with someone. So that means it can be, you can send a text. Hey, I've been thinking about you today. I hope you have a great day. You can send an email to someone or you can go on social media and make, you know, some comments in a chat somewhere. Just just attempt to communicate in a way that will build connection with you and someone else. And then gratitude, my friend. Sometimes we get so lost that we forget to be thankful for the things that we have, right? So be thankful for one thing each and every day for 21 days, right? And then um, personal development. On this personal development piece, it can be anything from watching a YouTube video on something that you wanted to learn about for 10 minutes, or you can read a book or a news article for 10 minutes, or you can listen to a podcast for 10 minutes. It could be anything that will help you to learn something that you don't know about or something that you're interested in. So anything that will promote your um, personal growth or personal development. So again, these five areas is an area of nutrition that you want to focus on. You want to move your body, be it dancing, yoga, lifting weights, marching in place. You want to connect with someone. And then we want to do gratitude where you're going to jot down one thing every day that you're thankful for or grateful for. And then personal development, right? So podcasts, you can do books, you can, um, you know, watch some on YouTube, whatever you need to do in order to promote your personal development. Now, another component to this is you'll be getting sheets, you know, little checklist sheets that you can track or trackers that you'll be getting with this. So in addition to receiving um, the trackers, so we're also going to do 21 days of gratitude on top of that. So I'll email you guys a PDF that has something different for 21 days that you can focus on. So one might be, you know, you're holding open a door for a friend or you're, you know, making dinner for someone, whatever it is. So there's 21 different ideas. So one for every day. And um, it's up to you if you want to take that challenge and take it a little further. But in addition to this, what makes this so special is, is that you're going to be having the opportunity to connect with others because there will be three live Zoom calls on Monday nights at 4 p.m. Okay, so the highlights are Monday night or Monday afternoons at 4 p.m. There will be a live Zoom call where um, it'll be a mix of Q&A um, group discussion and a little bit of teaching. Okay. And so you'll also have the opportunity, you know, to set goals 
and personal growth exercises. There'll be some things about that. And then you'll have accountability and partnerships with group members. And then what's going to be great also is, is you're going to have access to a wellness community that will focus on building community connections and sustainable habits that will continue to benefit you long after the challenge ends. So I plan to do this for several months in a row. And um, I, I would just love to have you guys join me. But I do hope to see you inside of the challenge. We don't have to wait till tomorrow before we begin a new life. We can begin right here, right now with a commitment to ourselves that we're going to do something for ourselves every day for 21 days to build some kind of momentum, some kind of community, and just keep powering on. Because y'all women over 50, we got it going on and on and on. And sometimes we just need to remind ourselves that we can still do hard things. All right, guys, love you to the core. And I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.